Like, how old were you when you first started playing basketball? When I picked up the rock, I was probably like nine years old. Okay. Nine or ten. Is that, is that typical or is that a little old for, you know what I mean, for when you look at other NBA players? Yeah, I mean, I hear stories about kids having the ball in their crib, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it was, I mean, for me, like my childhood was kind of different. Like I, I grew up, I mean, I grew up in a tough, in, in, in a poverty stricken area. And so a lot of people um, where I came from, they went to the park and I never really had, we never really had the luxuries that everybody else had. And so when you got your ball, like your ball was everything to you. And so that's where I kind of fell in love with the game because it kind of, it was my sanctuary when I was growing up. So my story's a little different with it. I mean, at nine years old, like, you know how sometimes you pick something up and you're just a natural at it? Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you just, it's just, you know, I was like that with DJing, for example. When I first started DJing, I was just a natural at it. Right. You know what I mean? When you first picked up a basketball, was it like, oh, okay, this is, this is, yeah. this is my shit right here? Yeah, that was it. When that I picked it, it up. Really, it was the first time I heard the Nets, because we had chain Nets at the park where I was at. Right. And I, I remember shooting the three, and when it hit, you know, it made that ching, that noise like that. And I just got addicted. Like, mm -hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't stop going to the park. I would go to the, it's a famous gym in Houston called the Fundy, Fundy Rec Center. Mm -hmm. I go from like, in the summertime, eight o'clock when the door was open, to 10 o'clock when they was closing it. They used to have to throw me out of there. You know so what 14 saying? hours? Pretty much. I would have stayed longer if they let me. <laughs> <laughs> so you go 14 hours a day for yeah. summers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now, how how bad were the was the street situation in the neighborhood during that time when you were you know devoting your life to basketball? Was there a lot of shootings, killing, stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, death where I came from is like forever present. Like yeah. it's always somebody going through something or somebody shooting up a block or. Something happened, you know what I mean, while I grow up. And so, like I said, basketball was kind of the thing that I used to, as my medication, you know what I mean, for some of the stuff that I would see. Like, in retrospect, if you weren't focused on basketball at the time, do you think you would have gotten caught up with all no, that shit? No doubt about it. So you it think you'd be in jail or, or no shot? No doubt or... about it. No, it ain't even no question, because in that area, you hate to say it, but when you look around, it's just not that many options, you know what I mean? It's like. You really don't have them. Like you go to school, and the teachers, I would even say, sometimes don't even seem as if they care. You know what I mean about the kids in that neighborhood because they probably look around and they see, like what it is we dealing with. And so, yeah, without that ball, ain't no telling. Like, how many friends did you lose to violence? You know, by the time you graduated high school. You want me to count them? I don't know if I can put a number on it, but. <clears throat> Friends is a big word for me. I don't, I don't use How the many word. people did you know? They got murdered. Damn. Definitely over like 10. Wow. That I knew. Who were under 18, teenagers. Yeah, no reason to be out there, just out there trying to keep up with the Joneses. Or basically, some of them was trying to, it was a way to survive, a way to live, a way to eat, a way to feed their family. Just doing what they had to do.